Do you want to be creative? Do you want to create your own world and connect with other players within the metaverse? If yes, you're definitely at the right place because that's the parable we're all about. Welcome to another episode of Project Review from Game Free Army. And today, we have the parallel. Don't skip any seconds because there's a lot of things to talk about this amazing project. But before we get into, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to catch up with new weekly episodes. We have lots of content to show you. Also, if you're interested in investing in GameFi, follow our Twitter for new market updates, join our Telegram group, and discuss with us about potential GameFi projects. And follow some exclusive trading signal from experts. The Parallel is a blockchain-based game on Binance Smart Chain that kickstarts the evolution of the infinite metaverse where you can enjoy an endless array of entertainment, gaming, and earning pathways. That is the play where you can truly be yourself and create anything. A person, a bird, a dragon. Yeah, anything out of your imagination. Sounds so cool and ambitious, right? You know, look at the trailer. This AB design definitely will remind you of Minecraft. A really famous game is Hover, and I think the gameplay is exactly the same because Minecraft also never deters my creativity and I can literally create anything from these square boxes. And you know, if you play Minecraft for a long time, you definitely have seen some majestic constructions from gamers inside this game. I'm really surprised by how much effort have put into this masterpiece. But just one important thing is that you cannot sell any of them because everything is on developer server and can be manipulated. But everything has changed in a parallel, as your video game access will become real access. Yeah, NFT with blockchain technology, and you can actually reign, trade, and stake this access to earn huge profit. It's a creative to earn concept in this game. Apart from crafting your masterpiece, you can also take part in other activities like mining, lodging, gathering, and exploring beautiful and mysterious landscape inside a parallel. Yeah, parallel game is exactly like Minecraft on blockchain. So I think because of this, a huge number of players and creators from Minecraft will go to this game and yeah, do their favorite thing, crafting some Baragon NFTs in this world. An audience like us can have a chance to witness this masterpiece. I'm kinda hyped about this right now. To further empower the ownership of NFT, the project used the Hydra system, a technology that uses AI for identity scanning to ensure that each NFT generated is unique, with no two NFTs sharing more than 85% similarity traits, so you can expect a unique creation that can generate income without being concerned with potential plagiarism. In the parallel metaverse, in order to create Paragon NFT, you will need to have runes that can be found anywhere, from casual activities like mining. These runes are divided into different tiers, including legendary, epic rare, uncommon, and common. Therefore, the power of your paragon will depend on the rarity and strength of the runes during the crafting process. If you don't satisfy with your paragon, you can uncraft to get back rune materials. Okay, it sounds interesting, but how you can earn from this game? Well, first you can participate as a player, do some operations to get runes, items, and get rewards from doing missions. You can work as a tenant on specific land, owned by the landlord. Or if you are rich, you have lots of capital, you can become the landlord and hire other tenants to work for you. If you are a creator, you can make money from crafting new assets and rent or sell them on the marketplace. Besides, you can earn profit from DeFi functionality like staking, farming, and trading. Yeah, the concept of the game is just wholesome, but you know it definitely contains some risks because we haven't seen any products yet. This project is really huge and ambitious, so I think it will require lots of work in order to succeed in this industry. But it gives me some high expectations because the team behind this project has a lot of experience in blockchain, and especially marketing as we have the CEO of Box Studio here, a really famous influencer marketing provider company focused on the gaming industry in Vietnam. And in fact, they truly have a large network of esports KOLs with more than 50 influencers and 12 YouTube channels of Minecraft content, giving them direct access to 10 million potential users. So you can expect a high initial user base of the game. But one thing that bothered me is that the team background is not related much to gaming, so 
you know how it can affect the actual game performance. But they got a really good board of advisors, Santiago or Santo. Now he is really investing in blockchain, fintech, and partner with Powerfit Capital. Mr. Harry Hollywood, with more than 28 years experience in the gaming industry, and Mr. Hong Ding, CEO of Arida Investment Committee. He's pretty famous in investing and supporting startups in Vietnam. Furthermore, they also raised up to $4.3 million from numerous qualified capital like UG Ventures, OK, Signum Capital, and Bay Arm. Moving on, we will talk about the tokenomics of the project. They follow the dual economy with two main tokens, PRL and BS. PRL token has a limited supply of 1 billion and users need to use them to be able for staking, farming, payment fee, payment units, mining NFTs, NFTs copyright and governance power. Yet lots of UK to ensure stable demand of PRL. And players can earn them by staking, farming and in some special events. PS token we can be called Power Stone. We be the main tokens for earning from daily activities, and people also have to use them to grab a mean NFT. So like creating NFTs in the parallel, we need both tokens, PRL and PS token. A little bit worry because you can earn PRL by staking PRL, NFT and farming, which means that there may be some high sell pressure for this main token in the short term. Hope the depth will balance this thing in the official game. These are the token distribution and investing schedule of BRL tokens. And you can see the strategic and private sale lockup and we release after 6 months from the first TGE. So remember to cash out at that time. Moving on, according to the roadmap, we can expect the parallel will have an ideal this month. And creators can start to crop the unit NFTs, but NFT trading function will only be released a few months later in the first quarter of 2022. So consider that. And besides, they are also running an AR challenge with a total price up to 30,000 BRL for 100 winners. To get up to the nice play to fill with this parallel future and spread this train around the world. Besides, this project is also planned to partner with other game studios to create their own world and businesses within the parallel metaverse, alongside with VR, AR integrations and game competitions. You know, if this is gonna happen, the parallel is gonna be one of the biggest metaverse world in this industry. Maybe we can truly transform into the characters and live in this metaverse, explore, create, and earn lifetime revenue. In conclusion, the parallel to me is a really ambitious project with a great vision into the metaverse. There haven't been any final products yet, but we can have high expectation from an experienced team and strong backers. I'm really excited by what they are doing and I would definitely give this game a go when the official game comes out. What do you guys think about all of this? Do you get excited or worry about anything? Put a comment below so we can discuss together. By the way, we get free army. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this video helpful. We will catch up with you guys later. Bye bye.